All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange. Today, we're taking a look at Maxpedition's new line. This is the Entity Series, and this specific one is the Entity 27. Yeah, we're gonna try this out. It's basically like a gray man kind of thing. You know, urban gray. You don't stand out. You don't look all super tactical. We're gonna take a look at this bag, tell you guys some details about it. We're even gonna see how many of our balls fit in this bag, so. Stay right there. We're gonna look into the Entity 27 right here. If you can get your hands on the Maxpedition catalog, there is one that has the Entity series, the Legacy, which is all the, the bags that Maxpedition has been doing from the beginning. And then a few years ago, they came out with the AGR line. So in here, here's this uh, gentleman wearing, looks like he's wearing the 27, but this is definitely in the Entity line. And they have lots of good stuff in here if you look at it, from the concept sketch of them going to from concept to technical drawing to actually putting together a prototype which you know i think they they really closely stuck to what to what it was that tim tang from expedition designed and you can get all your details from the latest catalog that's out and let me see what else is in here i know they there's um, there's some stuff that goes from the AGR line to the Entity line, just so that you guys know. So I'll get into that a little bit later. I've got a whole bunch of things here sitting on the table. First thing that we should do is, as I said before, how many of our balls? And for anyone who wants to know, if you take your kids to one of those places where they have that those um, the play the ball pit, this is pretty much the balls that you would find in the ball pit. I kid you not, I bought a bunch of these. Let me see where the, I'll take one out. So I did that because we will have our standard size and then that way I can let you guys know how many get in here. Now, basically the 27 in the Entities 27 stands for 27. It's, it's actually 27L, so it's 27 liters if you wanna know. So that's what you got going on in there. And we put balls both in the main compartment of this bag and in the two water pouches. So just so that you guys know, there's a water pouch on each side. And so let's, I'll open that up. I think our total count was 102, right Gabe? Yeah. 102. And how many balls do we get in each, the side, the water pouches? How many went in each? There's seven one? on each side. Seven, okay, so here you go. I'll open this up. There you go. There's uh, seven balls dropping out right there that can go in there. Just to give you an idea of how much room that can take up. And I'll flip it around to the other side, and we got seven more coming out of there. You know, so these are really big, and you can you can open these up like this, so it's not just water that you could put in here. You can, you can put water, I've got a water bottle. That could even go on the outside one, and you can get a bigger water bottle inside here. Or if you want to, you know, keep your phone, charging cables, and things like that, it has this uh, gossamer mesh that they have that allows you to see what's going on inside, which I really like. It's got another a gossamer pocket there and then it's just another pocket. So it's really convenient to have both of these. I will probably put lots of stuff in it. And I like on both sides, you actually have a grab handle, which I think is pretty cool. I like the idea of the grab handle there so that you can pull it and move it around. And it's on the other side, as you see here, grab handle, really tough. And there we go, same pocket that you can open. So maybe on one side, you can have your electronics. On the flip side, you can have your food or, I don't know, whatever it is that you want. So there's a zippered gossamer pocket. On this side, actually, there's, um, the, the pockets over here are different. So you've got a regular big pocket here, and then it looks like you could put in pens and things like that in this, on, on this side. I don't know which side that is, the right or the left side. And then before we go into the main compartment, there is a compartment up here for a laptop, and that's what we have inside of here. And this is my laptop, it's a, a MacBook. And I think the biggest MacBook you can get right now is the 15, so this is a 15 inch MacBook, which goes in there pretty well. And that's what we use. Uh, I'll roll in some footage in this video of uh, different body shapes wearing this backpack. So I wore it, and then one of my production assistants, Gabe, that you hear me talking to, in the backdrop he wore it. He's kind of like medium sized build. And then we have a real bony ass uh, production assistant here. <laughs> Rashad, you'll see him too. <laughs> we're just making fun of him because we're jealous basically. So there you go. So now let's go into the main compartment. One of the things that um, that's different on this bag that you guys will notice, there are these magnetic little ears here that kind of like hold everything together, okay? And 
on the outside, different from your from the AGR line or even the Legacy line, there's no there's no Velcro or anything out here where you're gonna put patches and all that, right? The whole point of this is to keep it looking um, non-tactical, gray man. You're just a regular dude, maybe with a nice designer backpack. And this does look like that, you know? I really like the design of this. It's sleek, it's futuristic, I like it. And it does look like this can be any backpack that you could pick up anywhere, except it's a little upscale. Uh, I like the color and the grays here. Tim told me, if you guys look at uh, our footage from 2018 SHOT Show, we actually went to the Maxpedition booth and spent some time talking to the to the owner, designer of Maxpedition, Tim Tang, and he said that this is basically white and black blended in here. And I think this was, um, what was it, 400 Cordra? 500. 500, right? 500. So it still feels soft, but it's really, really tough, right? Now the only one thing that we that most of us noticed here. The only giveaway that you see on this bag that separates it from just being a sleek, stylish backpack is the Maxpedition right there. And obviously, you know, it's their company, it's their brand, they want to preserve it, so I get why they put it up there. I would have liked if there was a little flap over it, maybe hit it so that no one knows, because someone who knows better and who might be a little bit dangerous would go, Maxpedition, oh, that guy, that guy might be tactical. <laughs> But, you know, I did express that to them. You might feel the same way. It's really not that bad. It's all, it's black on black lettering, so it doesn't stand out too much. And uh, truly, it would probably have to be someone that knows better to, to do anything about it. So now, we've got two of the, the poles here that you could pull in, on either side. And uh, like I said, these straps here, these ears are magnetic. So I'm gonna pull this open and uh, the other, what was it, like 80 something? Cause we had, uh, what? like 80, 90 something balls are gonna fall out. There you go, there are the balls. So that just, that's just to illustrate the amount of volume that we have in here. Um, yeah, how many, 88? Yeah, like 88, yeah. So that's how many we have in there. It's a lot of volume. And now, one of the things that you guys, you can open this all the way down, which I'm doing now. You can have full access to it. It also does come with these drawbridge straps right here. So these can go in like this, and then they can lock. And where's the other one? There's one on both sides. So if you don't want it to open up all the way, you can just put these in and lock it, or unlock it, and then when you open it, it will stop like that, right? So if, you, if you're gonna go in your bag and you don't want everything to come falling out like we just demonstrated to you, you've got those, and then when you go to zip it back up, whether it's closed or not, I think the reason you might say like, well, why do we have these magnetic flaps? And you can tuck them away. So you could take the magnetic flaps and just tuck them in like this if you don't want them or don't need them. And uh, you can also tuck away these bridge straps right there into, into, this, um, into these holes here. But why would you need that? So let's say that you, you wanna have your bag open but you don't want just anyone just looking around to see what's in there unless they really try to get in deep. That's why you would have the magnets, and that's the, the, the also the reason that you would have the bridge, to limit the amount that this bag would open, right, under any circumstances. So if you really have to get in here and get a bunch of stuff, you don't necessarily want all your stuff falling out if you're in panic mode or something like that, and then now you gotta stop and pick those things up. So that's why you have the bridge, which limits how far the bag opens. If you don't wanna do that, it's really easy to unclasp it like that. And then you can tuck these in, like we, I think we pretty much had these uh, tucked in before, but let's do it while we're here. There you go. Then we'll take a look inside of the bag to see what we have going on in here. So once you open that, you'll notice that here we have a um, hook and loop panel inside that you can actually attach things to. So I also got from Maxpedition, and Maxpedition sent this to me as a T&E. &E. So we got, what is this? This is the hook and loop utility panel. We'll just take that off right there. And what this allows us to do is on here, inside, since on the outside you don't have all the straps and everything that would make this look tactical, they created this panel on the inside that's modular, so you can pretty much decide how you want to do things, right? You can put things in here however you want to. 
Um, you can also you can move the, you can move those things around. Excuse me, and have extra storage in here if you want to. There's lots of different things. You can also use anything that comes out of the AGR line that has this backing on it. You can use it to put it in there and do whatever you need to do inside of inside of there, right? And um, I'll probably use this and have things. So, for example, I already have a pouch here for for this light. But if you wanted to, you can have an extra light in there. Got Velcro, you know, you could tuck that in there and you could strap it down or do whatever you wanted to do to it. You could use this as a magazine pouch. That's just as an example of what you can do. Now, there's a gossamer panel here that opens up and gives you a little bit of access, and then there's a lanyard inside of that. It's not, it goes down to about, you know, you could put most of your hand inside of that panel. All right. And let's see, when we go in here, we've got another side pocket that's got the gossamer, another one over here, the gossamer. We've got a big zipped panel inside here that you could put documents and see into it. Then another, another panel behind that. And then a shorter, shorter one that you, you can also put stuff into here. And that's pretty much, I mean, you got a lot of volume inside of this bag. And then bear in mind, underneath that, you still have a panel for your laptop. So whatever else you're carrying with you, if you're carrying like a change of clothing or other things that you may need to put in here, you can get them into into this bag that way. And there you go. If you if you wanted to just not close it, but have a little bit of privacy on what's going on, but then still have the ability that you could just rip it off when you want to, that's why it's got the magnets. I think, you know, I, you, we could say that it's a little gimmicky. I kind of like it. You know, I like the idea of being able to do that. If it gets annoying, tuck that away, no big deal. Now, the other thing that I really like about these backpacks here, and it, obviously it's got all the same um, features that are not tactical that you would expect from Maxpedition. It's got nice, comfortable padding in the back. You know, the, uh, the backpack straps here are padded. You can look, look and loop some stuff into there. You've got um, a chest support as well as waist support in it. But the other thing that I like is every bag in this line has a um, CCW pouch. So mine is on this side, you zip it open. No, actually it's not on this side, there you go. Now that proves something that I wanted to talk to you about before, but we'll just get into it now. That is the security strap that's in there that stopped me from going into it. So it's not on this side. And you see how difficult it is to open? So I'm gonna go in from the proper side now. Let's flip it over this way. So I think I have it like that because if I take it off my back, I'm gonna to wanna to use my right hand. So if it's, on my, if it's um, on my back, I take it off, I can go like this, flip it open, and then inside I can have my, my pistol in there, um, some magazines, whatever else I need can fit in there. Okay, so there you go. And that, what I'm using here, like I said, from the AGR line, we'll take, take that out just so I can show you guys. There you go. This is like a universal holster kind of thing. I'm not even sure what Maxpedition calls it. It is in the AGR line. It's gray. You can use this to fit your handgun into it and then secure it inside there, right? Anything else that works for you, like you can get these for your uh, magazines, etc. if you want to. So now, what I was talking to you guys about before. So that strip that's there, let's say I did for whatever reason, let's say in a panic, I decided to go into this bag and I ripped this open. See how I couldn't get in there? And then I was like, oh shit, and I left the, I left the, the, zip, the zipper open. If I flipped it over here and I put my hand in, that strap is to keep me from going all the way through or from my, if, if my gun or my magazines were loose in here to keep them from just dropping out. Now they're on the ground and I'm at a tactical disadvantage because I'm looking for those things or I'm distracted by it. And what it is, there's a security lockout strip in here that I'm gonna rip out right now. Basically, it's a strip with uh, the Velcro ho hook and loops on both sides. And what you would do is you go to this side and if you wanna lock this side off, you just put it in there. Secure it down, make sure it's secured down, and then you just, you know, put it together like this, and then that'll hold it. And that holds it, you know, good enough for if you get into anything. And then obviously you can close that. But the whole point of it is if you forget that or you open this without thinking about it or someone else opens it, 
you're not going to drop out everything when you go in here on the other side or when you turn it over this way. So I think um, that's actually, to me, pretty cool. All in all, what do I think about this bag? The one, the magnetic flaps, we hit that. I think that's cool. The main compartment, we hit that as well. It has a drawbridge inside of it. It's not open right now, but here they go. You can hide them, you can tuck them away, and you can have a drawbridge. And if you, you don't have to even have it on both sides. You could just do one side like that if you want to. So when you open your bag, it just hangs open. So that's one of the new things with this. We hit the, um, the CCW compartment right here, okay? Um, as well as the, the hook and loop ex, uh, panels that, they, that these came with. Let me just take this off. Let's see, where is the hook and loop panel that we had? Here we go, it's in here. Boom, you've got those. What this helps you do is organize better in here, right? Because the one thing that you're losing from all the, from the tactical look on the outside, it's not just tactical, it's actually practical. You can hook a whole bunch of other bags and things like that on on the back side of it. Like let's say you had one of these, you could hook one of these on to the outside of it. Well, and I think you can still get, you can get a panel that this can hook onto inside of here as well. But if you want to have more organization, you can get some of these, some of these organizing panels and then you'll be able to put other things inside here and keep that organized as well. Lots of room on the inside that you could just throw in things and do whatever you want to do. And wait, one thing that I really forgot that I should do. Maxpedition started putting the name of the damn bag in there. That is so awesome. I know it seems like a little thing, but for a long time, if you go back and look at the Legacy line, which I've got a whole bunch of those, you, it's, it's difficult to tell. People ask me like, oh, what bag is this? I want to get a bag like that. And then I have to spend days trying to research it and figure out what bag it is. So in here now, they've got a tag in there that says what it is, Maxpedition. Entity 27, 27 liter CCW enabled laptop backpack, and obviously Maxpedition.com. And if you guys want to know more about this bag, you can go to Maxpedition.com. Specifically, um, there, there's Maxpedition.com slash entity series or entity dash series. You guys can find out about this particular setup. So that is something I think is also a very cool. Let me close it up here and give you guys. You know what? Overall, I like this, man. I think this is really functional. It kind of, kind of fits into what I want to do nowadays, that I don't really want to signal to anyone that I'm that tactical guy. So I like the idea of this. Just looks like a regular backpack. Um, one of the things that you can do with this laptop panel, if you want to, you can still, you can have, it's over here. With the laptop panel, you could put your laptop in there and you can also slide in like a, um, a, a body armor uh, plating or something like that. I mean, nowadays there's even light, lighter, lighter ones that you can put in here that won't add too much weight to the backpack. So if you really needed to, you can use this as protection, you know, in a, um, in a shooter situation, right, where someone loses their mind and decides to be destructive to other people, you can kind of use this to shield yourself if you had to until you could defend yourself or get out of there. So overall, I like this. I, I like the way that it feels. It feels, um, you know, it feels nice. It feels luxurious. It looks good. It's stylish. And it still has function, even though I've lost some of the functions from not having all those straps outside but if i really need to if i need to put in my um you know if i need to put in my my like patches and all those kind of things i can hide them inside here and i don't have to you know i don't have to go totally without being able to show off my awesome patch collection gabe Harris passing me one check that out look boom i can put all my patches in here if i want to as well as organizing other stuff. So overall, I like this. This you're gonna get real, real quality from Maxpedition that they're known for. So the biggest negative I could say is I wish that there was a way to hide the Maxpedition altogether. Um, maybe if it was a Velcro patch and I could rip it off, or even if there was like a little flap or something over it, then it would be super stealth. But other than that, I really like it. I enjoy the quality. I'm a fan of Maxpedition. And uh, I'm going to start carrying this bag with me day to day, and I will update you guys on how it's working out and how I'm using it. But the fact that it's, it can hold my laptop, it's going to be with me a lot. 
So there you go. As many details as we can give you about the new entity line, specifically the Entity 27. And um, one last detail, if I haven't already mentioned it, this is about 220 bucks, and it's available right now or will be really soon in all the places that you usually find Maxpedition bags. I'm Hank Strange. Peace out.